people. So when you have a 30 minute candle moving, man, that's a bonus. That's money right there. You know, so my ideology is that whenever I have, if I can anticipate the next 30 minute candle to move in a certain direction, I know that I can scratch that surface. And scratching that surface could be maybe like, you know, um, grabbing like a, like, like a 10 cent lot or a $1 lot or a $10 lot or a $100 lot. It doesn't matter because the candle is just going to move that way. No matter what lot size you use, the market doesn't give a shit. You know, because like, you know, like it doesn't need your money. That's the whole problem because sometimes what people do is they think that, hey, like, you know what, if, whenever they take an entry, the market is watching them and they take out the stop loss. But that's not the case, right? So you really have to understand that a candle movement is your trade. As a retail trader, as an intraday trader, when you're coming to the chart, when you're coming to the chart, especially for like two to three hours, man, imagine in those two to three hours, all you have to do is to anticipate where one one-hour candle is going to go. That's it. As a scalper, that's my bread and butter. I've made all my money from that. Like to anticipate where the next 30 minute candles are going to go. And if you're looking at a pair like, let's say, GGR Gold, you know that those pairs are very high volume pairs. So 30 minute candle on GGR Gold could be about like, you know, 20 to 25 pips. These days, gold is running at 100 pip, 30 minute candles. So you have to really understand those things, right? So in the same way, if, a, if, if the trend is bearish and price is making a low, it will do a retracement and then it will continue down to retest the low, right? And the same thing applies. So whenever uh, price is trending down, it will make a low, it will make a lower high, and then it, it will make a lower low. And the lower high, and a lower low, a lower high, and a lower low. And the same thing, you know, it uh, repeats in candles too. Look, candle form, even though I drew these candles, but it actually happens too. And the next candle made a lower low and a lower high, lower low and a lower high. And now when you're taking a sell, this is your confirmation candle right here. The first bearish candle is your confirmation candle. So if the first bearish candle is a confirmation candle, now you ask yourself, okay, if I'm going to take a sell, right, if I'm going to take a sell to target the low right over here, what's going to be my stop loss? Your stop is going to be, then you're going to say, okay, you know what, I am anticipating this candle to continue down as long as it respects the high of the previous candle. You know, if this candle retraces higher and breaks the high of the previous candle, then the selling is invalid, you know, which, which usually happens. You know, sometimes what's going to happen is that the candle is going to spike up. It's going to take out your stop loss and, it's, and then it's going to come back down, retrace and do some dance. And then it's going to continue to go where you want it to go. And when you see that happen, you're like, oh, man, you know, man, I had the right entry, price stopped me out, and now it's, it's right where I want it to be. That happens to a lot of people, you know. And to really monetize on that second move, it takes a lot of balls. It takes a lot of confidence in your bias to take that trade. And we're going to go over this right now. Um, so let's remove this, and let's see what the next slide is saying right over here. What are, when are second attempts more probable? You know, that's what you have to ask yourself. That when you get set, let's say um, that this second candle forms something like this, right? And it stops you out and it starts to continue down. Now you're like, oh man, now what do I do? So let's see here when you can take second attempt. When you're focused on the highs and lows of candles. This is very important. This is extremely important. What I mean by this is, um, let's say that you have, uh, let's, let's see what's the best way to explain this, right? When you're focusing on highs and lows of the candle. So let's say we had a candle that was going bearish like this, bearish candle, another bearish candle, and then you had candles going bullish like this. You had candles going bullish, bullish. And then you had candles going bearish like this, right? Like this. This is the first bearish candle. You look around, you say, okay, you know what? Perfect. This is my opportunity to take a sell. And as you take a sell, the next candle forms. It comes down 
and then it wicks all the way up and stops you out and then it starts to go down, right? So now when this candle is starting to go down and 